Hi guys, welcome back to Home Lab Networks. My name is AJ, and this review is of the TP-Link 24 port switch, the SG1024D, and also the SG1024. So the two separate switches that I've, I purchased, I thought they were completely different, but I didn't read what they actually were, and I just bought it. As far as I can tell, the only difference is the rack is. So when you rack it, one switch is longer than the other, but otherwise they work exactly the same. So these are two unmanaged switches that I don't even know, know why I purchased it. I just saw it on eBay and I just bought, as far as I can tell, what they do is fantastic. And I highly recommend these to anyone starting in home labs and just a small business. And for the job they do for, for me is amazing. I've had it running straight for about eight months with no issues whatsoever. As I said, the difference between the two is one is longer than the other, but they do the exact same job and then it's plug and play, so you plug your cable in and off you go. I do want to move into managed switches, but for now, these do amazing and I plan to run these until they eventually die. Um, these can transfer up to 100 megabits a second of data. And as, as I said, they are unmanaged, but they do the job. And also, it's no fans, so they don't make any noise. They're very quiet. They draw not a lot of power. And they're just an overall great switch. So I do recommend these to anyone getting started with Home Labs and IT. And we um, also sell this on our website. So once it's released, you can buy it through us and we can do you, do you a good deal, a nice cheap deal. And so the maximum rate on these switches is one gigabit of data transfer. And now this is the rack is in the rack, and you can see that both switches here, and one is longer than the other, but in the lights and ports are placed in different areas because it is a longer switch. But as I said, it does the exact same job as, as the, sh the shorter switch. When I bought the longer switch, I didn't realize it was the exact same switch pretty much, but I'm glad I bought it. I have 48 ports to fill, and it's awesome. So here's a preview of the switches in the rack. And then we're gonna go to the side of the rack and open it up so you can just see the difference in the size of the dimensions of both switches. They are, are a bit dusty, I've got to clean them. But um, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.